Howdy boys, in one of my recent videos I said I was going to get rid of a couple projects before I put Project 05 in the shop. So, a lot of this work is being done with my guys, but certain stuff needs to be done by me. So, this Cummins needs a head installed. Uh, and then the Volvo. This is what, I need to finish this Volvo and put Project 05 in here. But the Volvo need, needed the head redone on it. Um, this one didn't break down or anything, but every 500,000 I try to get uh, the valve seats redone. So what happens really on these heads is the, the valve seats fall out literally with time. They just drop, drops the valve seat, destroys the valve, and uh, in a lot of cases, the engine. I had it in one case, in a couple cases, the, everything was reusable. So this thing was at 665, it was on the verge of, a, you know, having that happen, and no one's done anything. That happens to me, my father's truck, and I told him, listen, brother, you got to park it for the winter. Got to redo the head on the on that engine. Good thing we did. Um, there's a couple, couple of them that are really close to going kaboom on us. So once we get this engine put together, we'll get Project 05 in here, and then we get this Cummins going. Paul's going to be breathing a lot easier around here. <sighs> this Cummins, man. So I told you the story with the Volvo. It, doesn't, it didn't necessarily have uh, anything catastrophic happen on it, but it was about to happen. So rebuild your heads every 500,000, guys. If you're really careful, you don't overheat it. I do 500 in my trucks because I got drivers, and they just put the hammer all the way down and go while it keeps going and then when it goes kaboom they just said it doesn't run anymore but my dad took it easy so i was fine with him doing 600 but he's at 665 and i said yeah let's park it before we run into trouble so that's what the volvos go and you i highly advise everyone to rebuild their heads at 500 if you're really easy and you drive it yourself do 600 and you know you haven't heated and overheated the engine but as far as the cummins go um retorque your heads retorque your head bolts and then, uh, yeah, and there's an, something weird happened. I don't know if it was an assembly issue. I'm not going to put shade on the guy that put this engine together. But, you know, I'm not applying that in any way, shape, or form. But it's odd. The, the fat side, the big cam, uh, that's what I mean by big cam. That's small cam. That's big cam. I don't know, man. I never went to school to fix engines, so don't laugh your butts off too hard. But on the big cams, they were damaged. Um, these cams are used, but the small cam is okay, and the big one isn't. And for some odd reason, the big cam got lightly destroyed. There's like gouging. That's okay, but that's okay. But there's gouging going on. I mean, you could tell. Like, it's bad. Like, you could catch it with your nail. So, I ended up picking up a couple used cams from my buddy. Uh, oh, here it is. Here's the big one. I don't know where the other one is. But anyways, um, so to make things simple, I got I got it for all from one engine, but these rollers are gouged as well. So these rollers are on the big one, so that took it all out. So I think I'm going to use my small stuff, and then the big stuff's going to come from another engine. So that's what all happened with the Cummins. Oh, while this Volvo's down, we decided to change out this thing. Uh, this thing is called all kinds of terms, but in, in short, it's a, it's a push-out bearing is what it is, but it's computerized, you know. There's a computer that, solenoid that activates it, and we're putting on a new clutch. So this truck, this Volvo, is 665, you know, some, some guys are curious how long will it last. At 665, didn't have any issues with the clutch, didn't have any issues with transmission, but it's just a matter of time. It's right there on the verge um, let's say consistent issues per se, but when I did hook up to, with a diagnostic tool, it did show uh, something about a clutch, high clutch load or something like that. And then one instance I said clutch slip. So it's, it, it's starting, you know. I recalibrated everything, you know, readjusted the settings, and he was fine for another couple months until we did the project. So that's something else I did with the Volvo. Anyways, guys, it's a weird video, but for all you guys curious, what in the world is Paul doing? Paul wears a lot of hats, sometimes it's papers, other times it's driving, and sometimes it's helping the boys in the shop work on engines. Anyways, as always, may the Lord bless you, and may Almighty find day. Ciao, bye.